let's see about residual rich resorption it is our rrr so residual rich resorption let's see about some important points so what is the definition of rrr the diminishing quantity and quality of the residual rich after teeth are removed so it is a definition given by the gpt8 so the diminishing quantity and quality of the residual rich after the teeth are removed it is the definition for residual rich resorption so classification for rrr it is given by adult so adult classification it has six order order one is pre extraction order two is post extraction order three is high well rounded order four is knife edged order five is low well rounded order six is depressed so these are the orders in class in adult classification so the first picture showing the order one that is pre extraction order two is post extraction order three is high well rounded order four is knife edged this picture showing the tip is knife edged order five is low well rounded order six is depressed that is a depression in the edge and order three and order five are uh, look like same but order three is high well rounded order five is low well rounded it is the difference so it is the adult classification so the resorption pattern so the um, residual rich resorption it is more uh, commonly occur in or more um, frequently in is a um, woman than the men so residual resorption is more occur in women during the first year of life or rr is 2 to 3 mm in maxilla and 4 to 5 mm in mandible in mandible it is 0.1 to 0.2 mm it is then uh, four times greater than the man, uh, maxilla so etiology the first one is anatomic factors so it is uh, or rr is most common in the mandible than the maxilla Uh, more in patients with short and square face with increased mas masticatory forces and the large well rounded ridges and broad palates that is it is a favorable anatomical factors for rrr so large well rounded ridges and broad palates or more resorption and the second factor is metabolic factors there are rrr they are directly with the bone resorption uh, resorption factors if bone resorption factors are increased or are increased inversely with bone formation factors and bone resorbing factors are uh, factors causing periodontal disease and heparin it uh, bone uh, forming factors are circulating estrogen thyroxine growth hormone androgens vitamin d calcium phosphorus protein fluoride these are the bone forming factors if the bone forming factors are increased then the residual reg resorption is decreased so it is inversely proportional to the bone forming factors and directly proportional to the bone resorbing factors it is metabolic factors and the third factor is a uh, factor is mechanical factors so rrr is inevitable due to disuse atrophy it can also be caused due to the excessive force transmitted through dentures because of continuous wear denture wearing and unstable occlusal conditions so there is a continuous uh, denture wearing and unstable occlusal conditions producing excessive force that is transmitted to the uh, bone so it is producing uh, it is also cause for rrr and disuse atrophy uh, there is no use it is also producing it is also cause for the rrr and the, what are the consequences of uh, residual rich resorption the first one is apparent loss of sulcus width and depth so it is very there is no sulcus width and depth so uh, it is lost and displacement of the muscle attachment closer to the crest of the residual ridge and loss of vertical dimension of the occlusion these are the consequences so vertical dimension is lost and the sulcus depth is lost and the muscle attachment is directly on the crest of the residual ridge so there is because there is no sulcus width or depth these are the 
consequences of residual ridge resorption and another consequences or the fourth consequence is reduction in the lower face height because there is a occlusal um, interocclusal space is lost so reduction in the lower face height and the fifth point is anterior rotation of the mandible and increase in the relative prognathism and the sixth point is mental foramen may come to lie at or near the level of the upper border of the body of the mandible because there is residual ridges are uh, resolved so the mental foramen come to lie at or near the level of the upper border of the body of the mandible so it is a clinical or, um, or anatomical features so anterior rotation of the mandible producing the mandibular prognathism and the seventh point is the genial tubercles project above the upper border of the mandible in the symphysial region so flattening of the vault of the palate and it is very important because normally um, it is in a u shape but the resorption of the um, uh, resorption of the residual ridges the the palate or uh, look like flattened and the ninth point is the maxillary arch resolve buccally and labially with a concomitant reduction in the perimeter or circumference of the arch so maxillary arch resolve buccally and labially and mandibular arch resolve in labially and lingually in the direction resulting in the widening of the arch posteriorly so leads to maxillary arch within the mandible uh, mandibular so it uh, looks like a pseudo class 3 ridge relationship it is very important pseudo class 3 ridge relationship maxillary arch within the mandibular arch so pseudo class 3 relationship so the first picture of uh, a picture shows the maxillary ridge it resolves buccally and labially result in the reduced arch size so the red line showing the indicates the center of the arch following resorption and in the b picture is showing the mandibular arch it resolves labially and lingually also it, it resulting in the widening of the arch so in maxilla that is uh, constructed in mandible that is a widening that's why the pseudo class 3 appearance what are the treatment of rr due to this continuous process a maintenance phase compressing of relining and rebasing the denture we have to frequently relining and rebasing the denture for fitting and over dentures also um, uh, it uh, over dentures are given to the patient because it minimizing the ridge resorption and enhanced retention stability support of processes along with the preservation of proprioception so first point is first treatment is we have to give relining and rebasing the denture frequently because it's uh, getting altered frequently and the second one is give uh, over denture and the third one is a severely resorbed ridge may require vestibuloplasty we have to do vestibuloplasty but prosthetic rehabilitation with osteointegrated implant best solution to prevent this process or preserve the bone these are the treatment for residual ridge resorption